Good morning, folks. We're over at the combined Lasco C2 and C3 images showing two sun diving comets, one right after the other, coming in towards the sun this morning. We'll track them in today. Time to pay attention because we've got big space weather, climate change, SDO shimmy stabilized by Helio viewer, more on the earthquake watch, and an unexpected warning from NASA. Let's get to it over at spaceweathernews.com. The last 24 hours on our star were very calm. About the only movement we see is the needed stabilization of the frames given the instability of the satellite. Solar flaring has dropped back down, hasn't come back after that brief burst that we saw two days ago. Sunspots struggling to fire under the Earth-facing quiet effect despite having a complex setup with beta polarity. Solar wind here intensified overnight and hopefully those with the disaster prediction app got the pre-storm solar wind warning and then the actual storm alert when it happened. Jumped up to level 2 last night but hopefully it makes its way back down today. We were briefly between coronal holes yesterday there and we had no big quakes. But that silence will be short-lived as the southern opening IMF and kinetic alpha waves face us today. With the non-Earth directed CME blasted from the incoming sunspots two days ago, ready to longitudinally couple with our planet tonight and tomorrow. Top stories come right to a new planet discovered. It's 6.6 .6 times the mass of Earth, but rocky and compact and only 1.4 times Earth's radius. The planet is so squarely within the liquid water habitable zone that little is actually made of that fact, rather on specifics of the planet's orbit and eccentricity. But alas, yet another almost certainly habitable world by some form of life. Up next, we've got the fraudulent climate chart for last month. This is the only one you're going to see people sharing online. The real data shows a phenomenally hidden amount of blue and cold all over. We'll be flipping back and forth here so you can see how often blue is replaced not only by white or red, but where you will often see record heat in the fraudulent chart without any sense of that being the case on the real one. Perhaps most easily noticeable is our major southern ocean melt cooling effect starting to show itself in the southern Atlantic. Lastly here, NASA put out a detailed piece on space weather risks. They've somewhat downplayed the kill shot scenario, saying it is unlikely, although not impossible, but they're really focusing on how many of our modern systems are utterly vulnerable to the sun. If you or someone you know is still doubting the dangers of space weather, show them this, and perhaps also let them know about the dozens of peer-reviewed works demonstrating an impressive list of biological effects of changing energy interactions of our planet with our star. All these alerts for space weather, your health, and earthquakes come through the Disaster Prediction app, and if you didn't catch it last night, my and Adrian's serious extraterrestrials talk from the conference posted to YouTube. The goal was simple, demonstrate that it's not just crazy people into the alien discussion, but some very, very serious people taking it very seriously. We've got pressure and radar forecast, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.